You know and love canned tuna, but how about canned salmon? Is the sheer amount of brand options overwhelming? No sweat. Keep watching to see our ranking of 13 different brands of canned salmon. As Costco's house brand, Kirkland has plenty of experience with making budget-friendly versions of some pretty standard consumer goods. It tries its hand at a range of products, often successfully, but its wild Alaska pink salmon has yielded some pretty mediocre results. One Amazon reviewer said, The problem I have with it is that it is very gritty. There may not be any skin or bones that are obvious, but there are hard pieces of bone throughout the salmon. It was like eating tiny pieces of gravel. If you're lucky enough to not have any hard pieces in your can, then you may actually notice an overall mushy texture that isn't too pleasing. Also, while the salmon is wild caught and has a quote, certified responsible fisheries badge on the package, there isn't any other information about the source of Kirkland salmon, which gives us some hesitation. It's not absolutely horrible, but pretty much any other brand would be better. While Chicken of the Sea does offer a version of canned salmon with skin and bones, we're taking a look at its chunk-style pink salmon that is both skinless and boneless. One Walmart reviewer said, Not impressed with this stuff at all. Bland little bits of almost mush. Doesn't seem like salmon at all. It's as though Chicken of the Sea wanted to replicate its famous tuna and made salmon in that same style. That's not the texture we want in salmon. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you! Unfortunately, this product lacks flavor and is overall very forgettable. While these kiddos might think otherwise, it's not that terrible. The salmon would certainly work in a recipe if you had no other options. While this may be one of the cans you're most likely to spot in a supermarket, you're better off skipping this one. Bumblebee is another big name in the canned fish market. Bumblebee touts its seafood as the original superfood that's more nutritious and convenient than protein powders and granola bars. And while that's an exciting proposition, how good is the salmon? Well, this particular can of salmon includes skin and bones, which adds more nutrients. The flavor of the salmon is pretty standard, nothing remarkable, but it does have a nice pure salmon flavor. The only problem with Bumblebee is that even though the skin and bones are expected, there's other stuff in the can, as well as including scales and who knows what else. One Target reviewer said, Expected skin and bones. That is standard. Did not expect scales and whatever else that mess was. Gross. Very disappointed. With just one taste of star Kiss skinless, boneless, wild pink salmon, it's clear that the brand is a mega producer of canned fish. That's because its jumbo lump salmon tastes eerily similar to its signature product, tuna. Starkist, founded in 1917, was originally named the French Sardine Company. Today, it is one of the leading brands of tuna, but how does its salmon stack up? Well, for starters, it's not pink, and instead of having a rich salmon flavor, it is just far too close to tuna fish to be enjoyable as salmon. Hey, Starkist, I'm putting my heart into it. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Starkist doesn't want tuna with heart. They want tuna that's good for the heart. One Amazon reviewer also wasn't convinced and said, To me, it was tuna. The color, the taste and smell were all tuna. Because the salmon is packed in water, it's flaky and broken up into chunks, which is yet another way in which it's all too reminiscent of tuna. Whole Foods' proprietary brand 365 promises to deliver ingredients of the highest quality at affordable prices, according to Whole Foods. The brand offers everything from sparkling water to pasta, orange juice, and so much more. But 365 salmon is particularly interesting because non-BPA lining is printed on the can, which indicates that there was no bisphenol A used in the lining of the can. This is important because studies have linked BPA to a number of health issues, though more research is necessary to fully understand its effects. We can get behind the BPA-free cans, but the salmon is just too dry to be enjoyable. Perhaps Whole Foods is overselling the quality of its 365 products, because although this canned salmon isn't bad, it's not as good as you would hope. An Amazon reviewer agreed and said, not completely inedible, but not something I would buy again. If you're a die-hard Trader Joe's lover, you likely see the store's products through rose-colored glasses. The store normally puts out some fantastic goods across a wide range of categories, from pizza to other meals and snacks, like gummy bears they call Scandinavian swimmers. Unfortunately, this canned Trader Joe's sockeye salmon is not one of those fantastic goods. The overall flavor and texture just don't work. A Trader Joe reviewer on Everything Joe's said, A bit dry, not all that flavorful, slightly bitter. 
Perhaps it's because the other Trader Joe's products have set the bar super high, but this canned salmon is disappointing and unremarkable. By packing its salmon in a small 3.75 ounce can, Vital Choice is fully prepared to have its wild red sockeye salmon gobbled up straight out of the can. A Vital Choice reviewer was a fan of both the bones and the serving size and said, once you try this, it will be hard to go back to any other canned salmon. The tender bones are a bonus and packed with extra nutrients. Also, the size is a perfect single serving. Often cans come in awkward portions, too much for one serving, but not enough for two. Vital Choice says that it's committed to only canning sustainable salmon, and the company also touts the health benefits of wild Alaskan salmon. The company's fish, and not just the canned stuff, is bright pink in color and has a rich, delicious flavor. This looks like high-quality salmon and has a taste to match. If it's possible for you to get past the visual of bones and skin, you're in for a treat. Because Redhead Wild Sockeye Salmon from Alaska is a high-quality canned salmon that's full of flavor. It's rich and tasty, and when you mash it up with a fork to incorporate the skin and bones, it's delicious directly out of the can, and even as a sandwich. It's around $6.50 per 7.5-ounce can, making it an expensive canned salmon. The pricing simply isn't attainable for every budget, and for that reason, it didn't come in higher on the list. But if you are looking for high-quality, flavorful salmon from a company that stands behind its product, this won't disappoint. We also love that there's a level of transparency about the harvesting process that isn't available from some of the larger canned salmon brands. Trident Foods has several lines of canned and prepared seafood, including Rubenstein's. The company is proud to partner with thousands of independent Alaskan fishing families to provide fresh fish for its canning operation, according to its website. It feels nice to support a seafood brand with initiatives like that in place. Rubenstein's is a smooth and pure-tasting salmon, so you know you're getting high-quality product. That makes sense because red salmon is known for being fattier and richer than pink salmon, according to Dr. Gourmet. One Trident reviewer appreciated the flavor. It is the tastiest canned salmon I've found, and I've tried quite a few. I made a salmon salad sandwich, added cut up celery and some mayo to it, put it on some bread with lettuce, it is delicious. Double Q is a brand that sits under the umbrella of Peter Pan Seafood. For $4.37 per 14.75 can at Walmart, it's a good value for canned salmon. What we appreciate most about this brand is that it's moist straight out of the can. The trick to making the perfect salmon patty that won't fall apart is to have a good amount of moisture in your mix. That's why Double Q is the perfect salmon to use to make that ideal salmon patty. And while you still need to add some mayonnaise or mustard and egg to bind the patty, the salmon is a great start. Conveniently, Double Q also includes its very own recipe for salmon patties right on the can. Overall, Double Q delivers solid taste and texture for a good price. It drives home the fact that you can indeed have quality for a good value. Crown Prince has an informative website that gives the sources of each of its lines of seafood. The sardines, for example, are from the northern coast of Scotland, and the salmon is wild-caught in Alaska, according to Crown Prince. If you're someone who likes to know more about the origins of your food, you may find some peace of mind in knowing that Crown Prince has you covered. It's important to know that Crown Prince wild-caught pink salmon includes skin and bones. There are actual chunks and fillets of fish in the can as well as some water. It's nice and dense salmon that tastes almost like it's fresh. There's also no salt added, so you can adjust the salt level in your recipes to your exact wishes. Salmon is generally considered to be lower in mercury than other seafood options. Mercury levels in salmon are on average about 0.022 parts per million, which is lower than other fish like swordfish and orange roughy, according to Better Health. And speaking of health... What did the navigator have? He had fish. All right. Now we know what we're up against. California-based canned fish producer Safe Catch claims to have the lowest mercury content of any brand. It also cans sustainable seafood that is wild-caught. Safe Catch proudly uses BPA-free cans as well. But all that means nothing if the salmon isn't delicious. The good news is that the salmon is delicious. It has a true salmon flavor, and because Safe Catch doesn't add water or oil, or anything else besides salt for that matter, all that's in each can is salmon and its natural oils. Wild Planet is another company that's totally transparent about its fishing practices. For example, the canned salmon's fishing method is listed as single species drift and set net. Fish aggregating devices are never used. And one target reviewer said, 
I asked a lifelong friend who grew up in Alaska and retired to Florida about this salmon. She said, this is the real deal to have in the pantry for the months when you cannot get fresh wild-caught Alaskan. Wild Planet salmon does contain some sea salt, but other than that, Wild Planet skinless and boneless salmon checks all the boxes for the salmon of our dreams. Wild Planet salmon is for when you want the world's easiest meal. Just dump a can of salmon in a bowl, mix with some mayo, spread on a cracker or bread, and enjoy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more matched videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.